Welcome to the Dicky Dines Show. Help. Help me. What do you need help with, Austin? I'm I'm a real boy. He's a real boy. Trapped in a puppet's body. Well, real boys can die. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dicky Dine Show. Today, we're having a fun little episode. Fun little. We're going to play a little metal trivia. A little snack-sized amount of fun. We're going to play a little metal trivia. Metal trivia? Metal trivia. Who is that? Metal Who's... trivia. Who's and that? Uh, I have got 10 trivias for, trivias for you, Austin. Oh. He was supposed to have 10 for me, too. I, yeah, I fucking but, dropped the nut. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Real quick, before we get into that, just want to let you guys know, we do have merch. If you would like to get some Dick and Dine Show merch, and we do have a it's Patreon. Cool. If you want to support us to continue doing what we're doing, check the links in the description below. We really help. appreciate it. Come on, help. We're so close to the Q&A. All right. <laughs> Everyone, play along with us at home. Please. I tried to keep these a little more easy. I didn't go too hard. Are they PG? Some, some of them are a little, do I need to get a a little explicit. Do I need um, to get a signature? You might need a signature. So, uh, we'll start with a couple easy ones here. We'll see. We'll see, Austin. Okay. Some of these are... Uh, pretty tough? Nah, I wouldn't say pretty nah, tough. It's a little tougher. Easy. All right, the first one. Which metal band features a mascot named Eddie? Is it A, Judas Priest, B, Megadeth, C, Iron Maiden, or D, Black Sabbath. Uh, I th I think it's no, don't know. <laughs> Run, what are the first two again? Judas Priest, Megadeth, <laughs> Iron Maiden, or Black Sabbath. I think I think the Iron Maiden one isn't that called the Trooper, isn't it? I think that one that guy is called the Trooper. Uh, who's Eddie? That is such a. <laughs> Lame mascot name. <laughs> oh, him? That's Eddie. Yeah, that's our boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> disturbed. Final answer. The man. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what the disturbed guy's name it's is. It's literally called the guy. The guy. It's like the man. I think the man. Like, literally like oh, the man. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Do you give up? Do you want to make uh, a guess? I gotta get, at least guess. Is there, okay. I don't even think Black Sabbath had a mascot, so I'm not gonna. I think they're off. Uh, Iron Maiden, I think the guy's name was the Trooper. And so that leaves Megadeth and Judas Priest, he said. Mm -hmm. uh, Megadeth, I, I don't know. The correct answer is uh. Iron Maiden. The Trooper's name is Eddie. That little skeleton guy, his name is But he Eddie. is the Trooper, right? I don't know if they ever refer to him as the trooper. I, he's the he's always been known to me as Eddie. <laughs> oh my I mean, God. they have that song, the trooper, but I don't know I if he's like. Dude, I don't know. I have a. I thought I had a memory in my head that was <laughs> the, his name was the trooper. He is the trooper. Yeah, Eddie, the uh, that little dude. Oh man, yeah, of course it is because yeah, I should have little skull guy. I tricked myself. I like <laughs> there's a there's a future me that went back in time to gaslight me. <laughs> okay, uh, next up. This one, I think you're probably going to get this one. Which band popularized the metal horns rock on hand gesture? Oh, Kiss, right? W Sorry, I was supposed to be an inside thought. Was it A, Metallica, B, Dio, C, Owl. Tool, or D, Slayer? Okay, well, you said popularize. That's different from create, right? <laughs> or is that the same? Because Dio made, like, he's the guy that did it, but other bands, like, probably popularized it. This is a, this feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this feels cursed. So, I think you know the answer out of the four that I gave. Okay, Dio. Dio, yeah, yes. Dio, so, yes. Okay. okay, there is dispute about this. Mm -hmm. But I'm on the side of Dio. Me too. Because the the guy, the, uh, he, Ronnie, th that was something that I believe his grandmother would do to him, and it's supposed to be like a symbol of protection. Mm -hmm. And so when they would perform, when Dio would perform, he would do this over the crowd, 
this is kind of obviously I wasn't there, right, but right. like you know, allegedly he would do this over the crowd to like give them like a warding of protection over the crowd. Right, right. some symbolic shit. Yes. Like, so then uh, later along comes Kiss mm-hmm. and Gene Simmons, being the outstanding citizen that he is, basically said, "Oh no, that was me. Right, I like yeah. I you know popular or I did it. Like I started it or I made it a thing essentially." Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's why the popularized part of that yeah. confused because I know that like if you ask, probably a lot of people think Gene Simmons did, but yeah, Dio, right? In my opinion, yeah. I did guess it, it depends on like how OG of a person you're asking, because mm-hmm. most people nowadays would say, "Oh yeah, that was Dio yeah. for sure." Most people in our circle, I don't know if maybe, maybe da- I feel like you could ask a dad, and he'd be like, "That's a kiss thing." Yeah, prop maybe. <laughs> Some yeah. like not super metal dad, you know. I also would say <clears throat> that ACDC because they used to do this thing. Or, like, mm-hmm. Angus used to do this thing. Yeah. So they probably also popularized it. But, like, yeah, popularized was the wrong word. I should have said, <laughs> I should have said, like, originated. Um, or still, who, who we, was, we like, which there. band is credited with originating it. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. that would be Dio. Um, let's go, let's go. But, Back I mean, every board. every metal band that does that popularized it. Right, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, so. it's, yeah, there's a, it became popularized because everyone started doing it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, that one's a little bit of a trick one. Anyway. Which country, next question, which country did the heavy metal subgenre Viking metal originate from? Is it A, Sweden, B, Iceland, C, Norway, or D, Scotland? Uh, fucking probably Norway? <laughs> Nordic Norway, huh? Is that your final yeah, answer? Yeah, locked it in. The correct answer is Sweden. Norway is black metal. Damn. Yeah. Nor- Nor- I would have thought Sweden was black metal for some reason. Yeah, no. Norway is black metal, you know? Norway is black metal. Sweden Damn. is Viking, yeah. Sweden is Viking. Yeah. And Zendaya is Michi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think you might get this one. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm doing so good so far. <laughs> well, I mean, you got Dio. You got the right I got answer. Dio. I got, okay, got that, that one's one. for me. That's from my heart. Which metal frontman uses a biomechanical mic stand cast in the shape of an exotic female? Is it A, Soli Erna from Godsmack, B, Phil Anselmo from Pantera, C, Randy Blythe from Lamb of God, or D, Jonathan Davis from Corn. It's D. Yeah. D. Yeah. I knew you were going to get the Jonathan yeah, yeah. Davis. Yeah, <laughs> I got that one. It's very iconic, mm-hmm. mic stand. Yeah. Which, yeah. More is. people should do. I think that's a really I cool agree. thing. There's like, yeah, it's like him and uh, fucking Avatar. <laughs> like, those are the guys yeah. that have cool mic stands. <laughs> I've seen I've seen some, uh, what, what's the guy, was it Nothing More? Are they the? Oh, is he's he the got guy the big who has robot the machine. Huge, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nothing. That, I don't know if it's a mic stand. I think it's like an well, actual instrument. It has instrument. a mic stand on it, right? That's robotic. Yeah, so that's super cool. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, but yeah, definitely makes you stand out. Yeah, for sure. When you have an iconic like thing, and it's for cool sure. too to have like a, a thing because it can be like there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You yeah, know, that it, like, it can be awkward. So if you have like a thing, you can right. put out to the crowd or like use in like double hand or like yeah. you can spin with it, and it's kind of more dramatic. Yeah. All right, this one might be a little bit more tricky for you, Austin. This black metal musician was arrested for torturing a 40-year-old man at a party and trying to collect his blood to drink it. That's hot. He then showed up to court decked out in satanic symbols. Is it A, Varg Vikernes from Burzum, B, Gaul from Gorgoroth, <laughs> C. Nicholas Farforth from Shining. I totally bur- butchered that last name. I apologize. Or D. Abbott from Abbott. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Say say those again because I thought it was a different band in my head. So I was waiting for to hear that one. So it's Varg from Burzum, Gaul from Gorgoroth, Nicholas from Shining, or Abbott from Abbott. Oh, fuck. I've heard this story before. I for some I thought it was a uh, Demi Borg or whatever. I thought it was that band <laughs> this whole time. Uh, Var no Varg was the fucking the mayhem guy. He's a he stabbed his buddy. 
So I know it's not that one, at least. Uh, dude, I don't even think guy. I've heard it. <laughs> it's the mayhem guy. Uh, uh, do you say, can you say those last three again? Those, those names are... Uh, Gall, Nicholas, or Abbott? I'm going to go with Abbott. I'm going to go with Abbott? Yeah. The correct answer Gaul. is Gall from God Gorgoroth. God damn it, it was Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth, yep. Uh, that Gaul. sucks too because I've totally heard that story before, but I didn't. Yeah. I had the way wrong band. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck me. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Is that Golgoroth the Gray? Um, this band's music was used to torture prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. Is it A, Metallica, B, Slayer, C, Marilyn Manson, or D, Skinny Puppy? What the fuck is Skinny Puppy? You never heard of Skinny Puppy? <laughs> They're pretty OG. No, I, I don't even sort of know what that is. Uh, hmm. This is a tough one. It could be any of those bands. Uh, I'm going to guess Skinny Puppy just because that seems like out of nowhere to throw in their list. <laughs> the correct answer is all of the above. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> so you're not wrong. Skinny Puppy also. And uh, s some people say um, Nine Inch Nails. Apparently, this was a tactic that was used in Guantanamo to essentially uh, torture. They would just play music like just, super loud at you? All day. That's a bummer. Yeah, and apparently it, it fucks with you after would, a while. Do you think they like, do it like sporadically too where they'll start the song and then like skip it in the middle and like start I it over no or idea. something? I have no idea. I hope they just played Saint Anger over, over, and over like, again? just the snare drum. Just <laughs> <laughs> That'd make me more powerful. <laughs> like, I love this shit. All right, next question. How did the drummer of Def Leppard lose his arm? Was it A, chainsaw, B, car accident, C, shark attack, or D, a roof fell on him? Oh, uh, man. Uh, I don't think it was a shark attack. That'd be crazy. He's famous, and he was one of the five people a year that get attacked by a shark. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> the shark uh, was like, is that the fucking drummer of Def <laughs> Leppard? I hate that band. Swims <laughs> <laughs> over <laughs> super fast. <laughs> Biggest hater. Uh, the roof one seems like innocuous enough that you're just like, damn, bro, you, a house fell on you? <laughs> like, that fucking sucks. Uh, Chainsaw, that's like too movie. It's like feels too too movie. Like that'd be crazy. I, I, like legs, baby, but an, an arm? How'd you chainsaw your arm off? Uh, what was the second one? Uh, car accident. Ooh, that seems very. That's probably the most likely. But the house falling on it is much more fun. But I, <laughs> but I've also guessed D like the past five answers. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do the car accident. Keep it simple. More, the most probable. I'm going to say car accident. You are correct. Dude, I got that. That was a good one. Was... He was driving his Corvette and probably, I don't know, allegedly intoxicated. Allegedly. Who knows? But yeah, got in a car accident and uh, Damn. Yeah, lost his arm. So My dad's my dad's buddy's band, Found they, his they had just got signed, right? Mm -hmm. And so they went to celebrate. He put a new engine in his uh, Camaro or something like that. And uh, he went out drinking and driving and then flipped his car at like 130 miles per hour was paralyzed. That's night crazy. A night after they got signed. That's crazy. Happens to a lot. Dude, in the 80s. All right. Next question. This one's probably easy. We'll see. Doubt it. Which Metallica album has sold the most copies? <clears throat> Is it A, Ride the Lightning, B, Reload, C, the Black Album, or D, Kill Em All? Uh, mm, probably the Black Album. I think, because I feel like that's the one I see, like, my whole life I've seen it in, like, retail stores and, like, resold on clearance and stuff. It, like, keeps making the cycles. And I think they did, like, a 10th anniversary edition, too, that caught me when I was a kid. So it's, like, they have, like, generational releases of that album. I'm saying the Black Album. That is correct. 
The Black Album came out in 1991. It has sold over 30 million copies. And to this day, they speculate it sells about three to 5,000 copies a week. Oh, my God. Still? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Because it's like the, the way when you just you're 12 and you heard a riff for the first time, yeah. and then you look up Google Metal, and then that <laughs> album shows up and it's just per- perpetuating forever. Yeah, it's awesome. Hundred percent. I think uh, <clears throat> I think they hired the dude that produced Bon Jovi, and so they brought this like metal aspect and then made it into like kind of a more ma- not I'm gonna say mainstream, but more like uh, adaptable to. Uh, like a, a, a larger audience at the time, mm-hmm. you know, 91. Right, like it's yeah. crazy. I mean, I was two years old. It's insane. That's crazy. I didn't um, know the Bon Jovi guy did it. I think it was him. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it was him. But uh, yeah, to this day, like two, three, three, four, five thousand records a week. It's insane. That's nuts. Yeah, 30 some odd nuts. years later, <clears throat> 32 wow. years later. Um, crazy, Damn. crazy album. And I believe it is the, the most biggest selling metal album of all time i'm pretty sure that's true i guess it depends on like your definition of metal but yeah 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 Check, sure. checks out um okay that's crazy <laughs> this one is a fun one um okay <laughs> which band started because of 9 11 <laughs> is it a audio slave b evanescence C, My Chemical Romance, or D, The Killers? Dude, Evanescence starting from 9-11 is fucking so funny to me. How can you see on 9-11 all this debris? What a wild... Thing to be that like, it, it's so it's like patriotic as fuck. But it's like which one of these bands even feels patriotic? Maybe Audio Slave, but okay, it was Evanescence, My Cam, Audio Slave, and who was the other group you said? The Killers. The Killers. Coming out of my cage. Mm, this is a tough one. Dude, how, I mean, shit, Ger- Ger- Gerard Way was probably pretty young. He could have been inspired by sitting in the TV league. That's what stripped me. Like, dude, curveball, throw it. Gerard Way, maybe. Let's You're going to say game. My Chemical Romance? That Not is even. correct. Is it really? That is correct. <laughs> yeah. So, what, okay. <laughs> so, what happened? Gerard Way. Gerard, no, listen, listen. I have the, I have the, let me tell you the story. So, Gerard Way was in New York. He was working at, I believe, Cartoon Network. What? At the time. Yeah. The and fuck? he witnessed maybe he was four or five blocks away from the towers. And he witnessed the event Whoa. happen on 9 11. And he said in interviews that it was that reason that he started to think about what do I want to put out into the world. And because of that, he started the band My That's Chemical so Romance. Sick. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, 9 <laughs> well, 11's not, but well, like, obviously, it's that a, is pretty, a horrible it's tragedy. Pretty but... crazy story. Yeah. Dude, wait, how old is Gerard Way? Like, he's much older oh, than he's I thought. Be like he was 40. working at Cartoon Network at that time. Yeah, probably 40, 40 something. Much maybe. older than I thought. Well, not much older, but 46. Oh, 46? Yeah. Okay. I guess, that checks out. I guess that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And fun fact, he is also wow. Joe Rogan's cousin. I oh, yeah. I, I knew that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Wow. Mike Cam, 9 11, baby. That's pretty cool story. Yeah. <laughs> Just being, dude, being that close to it, that's, that's pretty scary. Yeah. Um, Damn. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Uh, which female singer married a therapist, potentially her therapist, allegedly? Was it A, Amy Lee from Evanescence, B, Haley Williams from Paramore, C, Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless, or D, Lacey Sturm from Flyleaf? Oh. Which female singer married a therapist? Mm, mia. Uh, I'm leaning towards Lacey from Flyleaf. 
What was the... It was Evanescence, Paranor, Flyleaf, and then... Who was the fourth one? Uh, Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless. Ooh. That sounds... Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. Yeah. Oh, that one sounds... That's very believable. Uh-oh. Do I second guess myself here? <laughs> and then get mad? Or do I follow my heart? <laughs> follow your heart, Austin. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Lacey Stern. You're going to Lacey Stern from Flyleaf? Yeah. The correct answer is Amy Lee of Evanescence. Oh, whoa. That was the... I should have... It makes sense. It was on there twice. I should have... <laughs> right. Like maybe this is the follow-up one. So Damn. there is some speculation that it was her therapist mm -hmm. that she married. But if you look on articles nowadays, it says a therapist that gave her a lot of life advice. <laughs> so I don't know if they're trying to like scrub that from right. the internet, but uh, yeah, the other yeah. wording changed slightly. Like, yeah. No, no, it's no, no. We just knew each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Close friends that gave me a lot of advice. Yeah, who happens to be a life therapist. Pretty yeah, exactly. sure that's a HIPAA violation. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Um, oh, can you? Again, there's no, there's no proof like that I know of that it was hers, but it's speculated it could have been. Yeah, my bad, Lacey. But uh, yeah. So there's uh some music metal trivia for everyone. What what do you think was the wildest one? Was it the uh, you, know, you putting Evanescence on a metal trivia video, dude? <laughs> what the fuck is that about? <laughs> uh, Dude, honestly, the Def, Le Def Leppard guy losing his his whole ass arm, I didn't even know about that. That's kind of jarring yeah. to, to hear about. And yeah. the, realizing how old Gerard Way is is so also quite shocking. The 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 Def, Le the, the Def Leppard drummer essentially flipped his Corvette in his hand, or oh, his, no. his arm went out the sunroof, and then the car just rolled and just like shit. and just just took mm. it right off, like severed it instantly. It's Mother Nature reclaiming some. So they. They tried to get it put back on at mm -hmm. the doctors, but it got infected really bad, so mm -hmm. they had to remove it. Imagine like that's you get, so traumatizing. Like your arm gets ripped off, they put it back on. You're like, oh man, this might work, and then it get then they have it to take it to off rot again. Rot away. Yeah, yeah, they have to take it off again. Oh man, he, he lost his arm twice. <laughs> yes. Hey, we're gonna need that back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, oh. man. We're gonna need it. What's uh What's crazy is they came out with their biggest hits after that happened, and the guy was playing with foot pedals. Well, it's probably because everything was simple. Just which is like that's what sells you know what i mean um but yeah so metal trivia music trivia um there you go nice little nice little fun trivia how did you do yeah, it at home cool. i'm yeah i'm surprised at this stage in my life you were able to find that many that i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i had to spend a couple hours uh yeah, those are some deeper dives <laughs> looking for it but uh yeah good shit yeah i'll have to get you on the next one i'm gonna have to put some time in I'm gonna do deep reddit searches oh yeah there's dude there's a lot out there it's like the one i used to do the crazy metal facts mm -hmm. series yeah there's so many sh crazy stories that you just have to look for and you could find a legend you know, yeah, allegedly, <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button. Let us know in the comments down below if you'd like I to hope see you didn't more. Like it, hit the dislike button. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, great! Yeah, most disliked <laughs> video kidding, ever. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, yeah, we have uh, links in the description below if you want to follow us on other platforms and merch and all that kind of shit. So yeah, appreciate you. See you in the next one. Yes, not this. Not this. Not this. Not this. Not this.